Hey, Claude Pond here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is going to be a video about uh, eJunkie, the shopping cart. Now, in part one, we went in here and set up an account. We created product and we created the uh, HTML code to insert into our posts. But there is a plugin, and it's a WordPress eJunkie plugin. And the way you get it is you come down here to your WordPress dashboard, come down to plugins, click on it. You want to come up here to add new and click add new. And then you want to come in here. Let's just go e junkie. That's the easiest way for to find it, I think. And there it is WP e junkie shopping cart. Okay, so then we're going to click on install now. And then we're going to click on activate the plugin. And then we're going to get a WPE Junkie must be configured. Go to the general settings page. So you can either get to it here, but if you look down here to the sidebar, there's your eJunkie cart, and there's a drop down. Add, you can add products, you can list items, you can general settings. So if we go to general settings, it's going to ask for a ID number from eJunkie. Now, when we set up our eJunkie account, and we go into seller admin. You're going to see down here, view account summary. If you click on that, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to show my own personal number. But if you if click on that, you will get your eJunkie account number and you'll put it in here. So I'm going to pause the uh, video right now and then I'll come back once I've got that done. Okay, so I did uh, put in my ID number, and then I came down here and clicked Add Id Edit Items, and here I am at the eJunkie shopping cart back office for the WordPress plugin. Now, I wouldn't worry about these settings yet. We'll do that in a later video, but right now you see ID, I, item ID and product name. So we need to create an item ID and a, get a product name. We do that back in the eJunkie store. So when you're setting up your products, uh, you can add a product. We'll call it, uh, for this exercise, a box. You can do your settings here. You can give it a price, 10 bucks, And you can submit. Let's just create it quickly. So it's going to give you this code. Uh, and this, the old standard way is to take this HTML code here and here and insert that into your posts. But in the, to use the plugin, let's take a look at box. Here's our box. If I click edit, I'm going to come down here and it's going to give me a product number, 820876. So I want to copy that. Okay, and then I'm going to come in here and my item ID is 820876. And my product name is box. So that's it. I'm done, so I want to come down here, click Save. Let's see if it takes it. And it did. It took it three times because I clicked three times. I was impatient. Uh, so we can get rid of these two. Now, what that means is I've now created in my back office product ID and I have the name of the box. Now you're going to see it created this code right here. And now I can take that code, copy it, go into my posts, and I'm working on one right here. So I'm going to edit this decorative box post, which is an exercise. I'm going to go into the HTML tab and I'm going to delete these. This is, so I was testing this a little bit earlier. So here we are. And I'm going to give this a little space, and I'm going to paste. And I've just pasted my shopping cart for this specific box that I created in eJunkie right here. Now, there's another item I would like to do is go back into uh, the add, Edit Items. And I'll open up in a new tab. And come down here and get this View Cart code. and put it in here. I'll paste it. 
then I'm going to go over to the visual side here and you see these you can see they're offset and my image is centered so I'm just going to center these I want to save the draft and then I want to preview it and so here it is so I've got uh, the box and I've got my shopping cart and I've got my view cart and you can see it's going to show a box for 10 bucks which is is uh, you know so I put that's that part is working if I view cart it's going to show me what I've got in the cart then I can go off and buy other items etc so that's how you use the back office WP eJunkie plugin to insert the shopping cart dynamically right from your uh, back office in WordPress from the plugin uh, you have to first obviously go to eJunkie and create a list of products and then you can import those through that plugin and set it up from within your blog and that means you don't have to always go back to eJunkie you can do it dynamically from the blog so that's it I hope this has been helpful this is Claude Polano at Affiliate Starting Line stay with it stay well and we'll talk to you soon